Bayon Rappler. The Senate report on Mama Sapanu says the Moro Islamic Liberation Front committed the first sin. A survey shows more Filipinos don't want President Benigno Aquino to resign. And Duchess Kate says she'll be giving birth by the end of April. Hello, I'm Paterno S. Makel. This is Rappler's Wrap for the day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. The Senate report on the Mama Sapanu carnage says the first sin belongs to the Moro Islamic Liberation Front or MILF. The report says the MILF members' first sin is that they allowed themselves to coddle criminals and terrorists. Senator Ba Makino says he agrees with most observations, including the criticism of his cousin President Benigno Aquino. But he doesn't agree with conclusions on the peace process. The Senate report slams the Bangsamoro Basic Law as unfair. It adds the peace negotiators are suffering from a wanton excess of optimism. Justice Secretary Laila de Lima calls Aquino's liability for Mama Sapano a stretch and advises the public against, quote, hasty and reckless conclusions. Board of Inquiry head Benjamin Magalong stands by the board's findings, contrary to reports saying it cleared Aquino of liability. While 8 out of 10 Filipinos say the government's explanation of the Mama Sapono tragedy is insufficient, a Pulse Asia survey says more Filipinos prefer Aquino to stay as president. Pulse Asia survey results show 42% of Filipinos say Aquino should not resign. 29% say he should step down, while those ambivalent are at 28%. Groups critical of the president's handling of the Mama Sapono carnage are calling for Aquino's resignation. The survey was conducted before the release of the investigative reports of the Police Board of Inquiry and the Senate on Mama Sapano. The World Health Organization, or WHO, urges global action to drive tobacco companies out of business and hails progress in tackling smoking in many countries. WHO Chief Margaret Chan welcomes steps taken by some countries, led by Australia, to introduce plain packaging for cigarettes. Chan says, quote, It's going to be a tough fight, but we should not give up until we make sure that the tobacco industry goes out of business. Britain's Duchess Kate reveals she's due to give birth to her second child by the mid to end of April. The Duchess of Cambridge let the information slip while chatting to a volunteer at a children's center in London. Kate and husband Prince William are parents to 18-month-old Prince George, third in line to the throne. Royal officials announced Kate was pregnant with her second child in September. Manny Pacquiao gets a surprise visit from world middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin at Freddie Roach's wildcard gym. Golovkin, whose record of 32 wins, 0 losses, and 29 knockouts, is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, alongside Pacquiao and Mayweather. Pacquiao faces the fight of his career in the upcoming bout against Mayweather on May 2, May 3 in the Philippines at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. The World Boxing Council will award an emerald green and diamond encrusted belt to the winner. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Every story on Lap Rappler has a mood meter which gives you eight emotions to choose from. Looking at the mood navigator today, the story with the biggest circle is this one. Mo more Filipinos don't want Aquino to resign. According to a poll, 89% happy. This story brings out the mood of the day. Today, most people are happy. That's the wrap for today, Thursday, March 19, 2015. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other show, Rappler Talk, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Pater Nuesa Mokel. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.